I'm Danny Walker. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and follow me on social media at Danny Walker and give this video a thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. Today I'm going to be teaching you how I take my Instagram photos. My first tip is if you have a professional camera, that's obviously something that you would opt to use instead of your phone, but these tips are going to work just as well if you're shooting with your iPhone, which is honestly how a lot of my Instagram photos are taken. The first thing that I scout when I'm looking for a place to take my Instagram photo is good lighting. I always make sure that I'm avoiding harsh sunlight because if you stand in direct sunlight, you're going to be very shadowed. I try to make sure that the light source is in front of me so I avoid being backlit. No matter where I'm standing I don't want to have the main light source or brightest light source behind me because if it is then I am just going to look like a big shadow. When I do find great lighting I like to look for shaded areas. I stand under the shade so the sunlight isn't directly touching me and I try to get as close as I possibly can to the light. If you stand in a shaded area and you stand very far away from your camera then once again you're gonna turn into a big shadow. Once I find great lighting I start to focus on the angles that I'm going to shoot at. I always shoot from below. Not only does it make you look taller, it does make you look more proportionate in your photos. Then in terms of posing and angles, I try to be a little bit candid in some photos even though it's a staged candid photo. That way not every photo in my Instagram feed looks like I'm just standing there with my hands on my hips and posed for a photo. That gets a little bit boring so pretend to be candid. One way that you can get lots of options to choose from is to put your professional camera in sport mode because that is going to rapid click and you're going to be able to catch lots of in the moment truly candid images. Another way of doing this on your smartphone is to shoot bursts of photos. So if you have an iPhone you can hold down that button. I'm not sure about Androids but I do know that with iPhones you can hold down that photo button and catch multiple images. When I am scouting for a place that I'm going to take my photo I am very aware of the background. Whenever I shoot on my iPhone or even with my other camera, I put it in portrait mode so then I can blur the background to ensure that there won't be anything distracting from me in the photo. When you're looking around, I also try to limit the amount of people that are standing behind me or maybe if there's something that's really big and colorful, I try to move away from that and I search for places with a plain background. That way the focus is on me and my outfit or something that I'm trying to show in my image. If you want to be really particular, look for backgrounds that match the feed of your Instagram. So if your Instagram is primarily blue tones, then you can look for backgrounds that are blue. If your Instagram is white, then you can look for white backgrounds. I try to make sure that my Instagram is what I would say bright. So I look for light colored backgrounds and I avoid shooting on any or against any dark surfaces. The last step is to plan all of your pictures out. If you know you're going to be going to a very specific or iconic location, look up that location's hashtags on Instagram to get some photo inspiration for your own images. So then you have a location planned out ahead of time. The other thing I do in terms of my posing so that my Instagram all always looks new and varied is search Instagram explore pages I will search common hashtags or I will look on Pinterest for posing inspiration and try to recreate those poses in my own location and with my own outfits Thank you for tuning into this episode. I hope that it's going to help you to achieve your dream Instagram feed or at least taught you some new tricks. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out on new episodes. Also, please be sure to leave all of your comments and video requests in the comments below and make sure that you open up that description as well because I always have little discounts in there for you guys. And lastly, make sure that you're following me on social media at Danny Walker. Until next time, guys, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you soon.